if you are a 90s kid, you definitely know what this game was. You will go down for battles trying to run away from this little guy so he wouldn't eat you. He would literally grab you and eat you and you'd be traumatized. I always died in this game. This was definitely something serious when you were in school and you had the 64 pack of crayon colors that came with the sharpener. Everybody wanted to be your friend because everyone's parents couldn't afford that. If you had that, you was the cool kid. And ladies, black and brown ladies, let's not forget how we terrorized our mothers when we would go to school with a head full of barrettes in our head and be missing half of them by the time we get back home. And them little bubble things, I used to hate when they would put it on the top of my head because it would pull my hair. I would take them things out. My mom would be so mad by the end of the day. And let's not talk about the telephone. Now, I tried to find a telephone that had the long little circle extension thing. Okay, once your parents got the extension thing, how you could walk around the house with it, you know, and they, they would get on the phone and embarrass you and tell you to get off the phone. You wouldn't get off the phone. They would just snatch it out the outlet. Yeah, I experienced that one too many times. And this was something serious. To have a Tamagotchi man... This thing, people will bring them to school. Teachers will be so irritated with us bringing them because they will cry and stuff when they were hungry. I remember getting my Tamagotchi always taken away because my baby want to start crying during class. And I, I had the nerve to be mad at my teacher. Like, why are you taking away my baby? But I was interrupting class. But neither here nor there. Now, let's talk about other L.A. native spots. If you didn't get a birthday cake from House Bakery or their rainbow cupcakes or their butter cookies, I don't know who you was going to get your cake from because all the black and brown people was going here. And if you were really, really a 90s baby, you remember when it was black owned before the Latinos bought it. And we cannot talk about L.A. County and you do not talk about Swanson slossin um swap me you just can't people used to be selling dvds outside they used to be bringing out their mixtapes selling their mixtapes trying to get the word of mouth man people be washing cars there this still is standing and you could still go in there and it still is popping okay but be careful make sure you wear the right colors over there too and you cannot forget the neighborhood candy lady the neighborhood candy lady, you could go to the house. That was before going to the corner store. That was before when we were able to go to people's houses and people weren't worried about kids getting snatched that much. There was always a neighborhood candy lady that would have all the good snacks. Do I really got to talk about this? I could talk about so many LA good fish markets, but we're just going to talk about fish markets in general. This was a Friday night or a Saturday night meal in a black household. We was getting some fish and chips. We was getting them nasty ass hush puppies. I hated them things, but people be loving them. My people be loving them and them shrimp and them fries. Don't forget extra tartar sauce, hot sauce, and a little lemon on the side. And y'all really got it easy with the internet. We used to have to put CD-ROMs to get onto the internet. And let's not talk about the AOL guy once they started, you know, evolving. He would just run across the screen until you could get on it. And then the dollop internet. If you were a black person, you definitely were proud when Magic Johnson opened up his movie theaters. I remember going here and yes, Magic Johnson, you would see him in the movie theaters. I saw him several times as a kid and he's very nice, especially with his wife and his children. So yeah, but it's not there anymore. And I don't know if you guys will remember this, but I definitely remember this because I lived in Hawthorne at one point in time in the Hawthorne Mall. This was the place. I don't know why it went out of business. Maybe because they opened the South Bay Galleria Mall, which was really down the street. I don't know why, but it's still kind of existing there, but it's not open. And you cannot forget the Rose Parade. I honestly do not like parades. I used to fucking cry when my mom would take me and my dad would take me to the Rose Parade. But this is still a thing. This is a big thing. You can watch it on TV. And it's really big. So go and support the city. And if you're from... LA County, you already know about Lamert Park, how that is like one of the black capitals. You know, you could go for like black empowerment and things like that, but the Jazz Festival is not something to play with. Also, Juneteenth is not something to play with. So if your parents was really about black power and black empowerment, you was definitely at them events. 
now if you're from my city as well i lived in so many cities in la county but this is downtown long beach okay the blue line was definitely a, your connector if you wanted to get to la i mean downtown la so this is literally the last stop of the blue line and technically where it starts back up to where you could go down to la and i will tell you where you could stop at so TikTok evidently doesn't like the picture, but you will take this all the way down to Union Station. Well, you will have to transfer and then get to Union Station, and that will be the end of the blue line. Okay, if you guys like this, like for part three, and I'll see you guys soon.